Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode from this season where the theme is books that also exist as movies. Today's book is The Green Bicycle, which exists as an excellent movie called Watchda, and this movie has a Rotten Tomatoes rating of 99%. The main character of this book, written by Hafia Al-Mansur, as you may guess, is named Wajda. She is a passionate and determined 11-year-old girl who lives in Saudi Arabia. She wants to have a bike like her good friend Abdullah so she can race him. Unfortunately, it was considered not allowed for girls to ride bikes by society. Wajda sees a bike through the window of a store and wants it desperately. She tells the shop owner to hold it for her until she earns enough money to buy it. She sells homemade bracelets and mixtapes of band music so that she can earn more money and eventually buy the bicycle. She's caught and forced to participate in a competition for reciting the Quran, or she'll face expulsion. She has her own reasons for agreeing to participate because winning the contest has a large cash prize, so she would be able to afford the bicycle. She works incredibly hard and she's able to memorize it. Everyone is surprised when she wins, and even more so when she declares that she will use the money to buy a bicycle. To her surprise, the money will be donated in her name and she can't even use it. Her father is proud of her for winning the competition, but is now marrying a second wife because he wants a son. What will happen to Wajda's mom? Is it all over now? Will she never be able to get the bicycle? Read to find out and join this determined journey of a young girl to stand against society and achieve her dreams. For me, I immensely enjoyed reading the book and also watching the movie. This was another book with that emotional appeal, a book that can suck you into the story and make your feelings be as strong as the ones of the main character. I so badly wanted her to be able to obtain the bicycle and was sad due to her father marrying a second wife and her not being allowed to ride one. This book is full of determination, passion, hope, friendship, overcoming obstacles, love, dedication, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you for listening. I implore you to soar.